twisted fate. Welcome to the dark side. All right. As you can see here, I already taken the case cover off of here. I'm going to be replacing sprockets and chain. All I did was just take the covers off. Um, I've already loosened the sprocket. Uh, this was quite easy. All I had to do was I just, I even already had it up on the stands. I just sat on it myself, uh, held the rear brake in, and loosened it up. It wasn't that bad. I'm going to finish taking it off here in a second. I just didn't want to take it all the way off yet because I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Chain breaker tool. You need one of these to break your old chain and re rivet it. And there you have it. Chains broke. Cheap chain breaker tool, it worked. I did break the smaller one. I broke the smaller one. But it's probably just because I was using the wrong size. I went too small. This was the right one. They got uh, four different ones in this pack. Let's see in here. In this pack. And. I used the wrong one first. I used the right one, worked great. This is only a twenty dollar kit at Amazon. Uh, they did have a cheaper one there for like twelve, thirteen bucks. That one had a extremely a lot of bad reviews. So I did not buy that one. I bought the twenty dollar one. It seems to be working so far. So far so good. I broke one, but like I said, it was my probably my own fault because I used too small of one to begin with. So that's done. No. So we will. Broken link. You can see where I messed up the first time. <laughs> but the second time it pushed through no problem. And there's the tire off. Okay, we got the tire off now. And now we need to take the sprocket off. Okay. And you want to make sure you don't mess your rotor up. But these Yamaha bikes have the tires are wide enough that you don't even touch the rim or the rotor, so you're good with that. That's right. I need my socket wrench. Can you give me that, Jay? What's the socket wrench? That thing right there. No, that's this thing. This thing, Dad? Yes, that's the socket wrench. Last I checked. Okay. These are torqued on here. You probably should have a torque wrench to put these back on. But. But. As you can see, this is what I'm doing. I am loosening the bolts here. These are torqued on. 
Um, you want to make sure you don't mess your rotor up down there, but like I said, the Yamaha wheel is wide enough to where you don't have to mess. It doesn't have to worry about it very much. But this is what we're doing. Now we're going to get this oh, rear sprocket off. And you're supposed to torque these back on. I mean, you can do it by hand. And there you have it. Old sprocket. Off. Oh. We don't need that anymore either. Okay, so that's off, that's off. Now, this is, I'm getting trolled. This is the new kit we're going to put on. Right here. And it is the, let's see what it says on here. It does not. I can't remember which one it is. It's the stock front sprocket and the rear, I believe, is either one or two up. This Vortex uh, sprocket kit comes completely with everything. It's like 150 bucks, uh, and it comes highly rated. I've seen some racers use it, everything, so here we go. Which I believe this two up in the back, I believe it's either one or two up in the back, and it gives me a little bit more takeoff. So that's where we're at. This is the new front sprocket. This is what we're going to be putting on next. Which, we probably need a little grease for this. And here's my grease. But here's the rear tire. We're going to get this out of the way. Rear tire, sprock it off. Okay. Now these sprockets have, if you look, here's the other one. A flat side and a not flat side. So you need to know how this goes on there. And what you can do is just set it down like on a flat surface. I'll give you on your way on here. To know which way it goes. I'm going to pull the old one off here. Bang, 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 bang. And you can see this one came off this way, right? Off this way. As you can see. You set it down. What are you doing? See how much higher that is. Look how much higher that is. So that means on this Yamaha, this coupling here with the words is going to go inward. What do you want? So I'm going to put a little bit of grease on here. You probably don't have to, but grease is never a bad thing. It makes everything work. Dad? What? What's that liquid stuff? What liquid stuff? That. That's brake fluid. Break My helpers are. Why do you need that? So you can stop. <laughs> but <laughs> that's totally going on YouTube, just saying. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Grease. Okay. One's getting a rag. Yeah. So this one's gonna have to go like this. No, I don't want that rag. And like so. And your sprocket. Yay. And get some back up. When I put this back in, I'll put a little grease on here too, just so it slides in easier. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing anything like this too. It is, it's all really self explanatory, and you can watch videos on everything. I mean. Alright. As you can see, I put the new sprocket on here. You see me take that one off. It basically just, you know, goes on word side up. You retorque these down, these nuts. Um, I can't remember the exact torque specification. You can look in the book. I actually don't use a torque wrench. I just tighten the shit out of them. Um, because my torque wrench got stolen. But anyways... So that's how we're doing that. I'm actually going to put a little bit of grease on this axle. Just so it hopefully slides in a little bit easier. Not such a pain in the ass. Kind of good stuff. I'm just going to do it all the way. Ooh, 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 we don't want that.
chain is really, really loose. I'm going to wipe some of that off of there. After we get it open. Alright, and as you can see, there it is. Got the chain all on. Oh, I got some other things I got going on here. But, I got the chain all on. Works good. Got it pressed. It really wasn't that difficult. I had, uh, you know, I just had the basic $20 press tool for the link. Uh, chain I didn't even have to cut. It came at perfect size. I just moved the thing back up a little bit so I can move it back out over time because chains stretch, we all know. Uh, uh, yeah, I got the pegs and stuff off. I'm doing some other work, paint work and stuff. But, um, yep, sprockets on, chains, sprockets. It was not that hard of a job. It took me a couple hours because I'm an amateur, like I said, I'm just new at these things and I do it. There's little marks on here. I actually don't have a tool to see its line yet. I ordered one. It's not here yet. But, I mean, there's little marks there, so they're exactly the same. But I still will use the... Oh, uh, just... It's a little... Make sure your tire's in line. It clips on your uh, first bracket here. And there's a bar that goes straight and pretty much just shows you that it's in line. But there she is. All done much more to come but I know it's not the greatest video in the world but if you like it if I can do it anybody can do it so like subscribe I will make lots more